Well, good morning, everybody. It is Sanctified Sunday. Yes, I'm finding out that a lot of uh, sanctuaries are opening up today for service. Some are doing phases, going by phases. Some are going just straight on. It just depends on how their leadership is going. But I just want to talk about Sanctified Sunday today. Yes. You know, I was thinking about it. And I was thinking about how many times in the book did, did Jesus say, go in peace and sin no more. And when I thought of, when I looked it up, it was over 50,000 times. Yes. So I just want to encourage us on today as we go into the sanctuary for in the first time in months or if we're phasing in or we're just falling in all at once or however we decide we want to do it. I want you to do it with a new mind. Do it with a new mindset. Don't go back in the way you left out. Don't go back in acting up the way you went out acting up if you were one of those that act up because you know everybody in there now don't be just in there doing the right things. So I just want to encourage you. I thought about the woman that they caught her in the very act of adultery. I don't know where the man was because they didn't bring him. He probably was one of the first ones standing out there with a rock because he didn't want her to tell. But anyway, they brought her before Jesus and they threw her down. They said she was caught in the very act of adultery. And so Jesus stooped down and he was drawn on the ground. And he said, he without sin, let him cast the first stone. And when he looked up, everybody was gone what does that tell us that tells us that none of us is, is, is without sin there's none perfect in this world if we were perfect we would be we would be the most high ourselves so we all have situations and issues that's going on in our lives but i want to encourage you me and everybody on today wherever your sanctuary may be whether it's in your home whether you're going to a, 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 a church or a location uh go with a different mindset don't go back the same way you left. Go with a mind that you're going to love those that hate you. You're going to pray for those that despitefully use you. You're going to do, you're going to love them the way that Christ loved them. Because we don't go back with the same mindset. If everybody thought they was perfect, that woman would have been stoned. Over 50,000 times in, this, in the book, he said, go in peace and sin no more. Anybody that came to him for healing, once he re they received their healing, Jesus said, go in peace and sin no more. Does it mean that you're sinning if you're sick? No. It just means that don't fall back into the same old routine that you were in at the beginning. Don't go back to the sanctuary. Don't go back to your prayer spot. Don't go back to your wall. Don't go back to the most high the same way you left. Go back better. Go back to be stronger. Go back looking for a blessing. Go back looking for him to do something great in your life. Don't go back to the sanctuaries the same way you left. So much has happened and so much is going to happen. Yes, we can pray for laws to be changed. We can pray for civil rights and all of that. But the biggest change that will change the world is a changed heart. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What's in you is going to come out. So I want to encourage everybody today. Today is Sanctified Sunday. I want you to sanctify. What is sanctified? Sanctified is to be set apart, to be purified, to be clean. So clean up those areas in your life that you can. There are some things that we can't do. There are some things that's going to take the power of God to change. But the things that you can change, I want to challenge you to change them. The things that you know that's going wrong in your life, I want to challenge you to work on that to change that because today is sanctified sunday if you one of those that's always telling people off and you got a flip mouth and you're always talking smart i want to challenge you to sanctify that mouth sanctify your heart there's a scripture that says how with where would shall a young man cleans his ways and the answer was by taking heed to thy word O lord so if we take heed to the word of the lord we can have a sanctified sunday if we take heed to the word of the Lord, we can begin to clean up some of those areas in our life that we have the power to do so. Some things we can do. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. Yes, some things that we need the most high to do. But y'all know there are some things that we can do. We don't have to do a lot of stuff that we're doing. We don't have to roll our eyes. Now, we don't need the Holy Ghost and we don't need fire to fall from heaven for us to stop rolling our eyes and tucking our lips and having attitudes we don't need the holy ghost with fire to help us in that area some things we can do ourselves 
There are some things that are self-help. So I want it to do it yourself. Yes. So I want to encourage us on today. Sanctified Sunday. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify your body. Sanctify your mind. Meaning to purify. To set aside. Set yourself aside. Don't get mixed up in everything. If you were in the building, the main one, all up in chaos and trouble. And if you were in the building, the main one that was carrying gossip. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify your mouth. It was a songwriter that said, my whole body belongs to God. So give your body over to the Lord today. As you go back to the sanctuaries or if you go into the tent, going under the tent. See, I was saved under a tent. We had a big old mass tent revival and I was 17 years old. And that's when the Lord saved me under a tent, honey. So a tent revival has a special meaning to me. So let me tell you something. Today is Sanctified Sunday. And I want to challenge each and every one of us that's going back to the sanctuary or going back to the temple or going to your houses or wherever you're going to, to meet the Lord, wherever you're going to give reverence and to praise him and to get into his word. I want to challenge you to go sanctify, sanctify yourself, purify, set aside, clean up. That's all it means. We make it seem like it's such a big word and it's such a big deal. But all it means is clean up the stuff that you can and the stuff that you cannot that's beyond your control give it to the most high that's the time you turn your face to the wall and pray just like hezekiah so if you need to go to the wall to get sanctified now would be a good time so i want to challenge everybody today don't go back the way you left go back with a new mind a mind that i'm gonna do it right this time i ain't gonna be slipping and tipping and dipping but i'm gonna do it right i ain't gonna be hypocriting and, and faking and shaking it but I'm going to do it right. So I want to challenge you on today. Sanctified Sunday. Go back sanctified. And if you don't go sanctified, leave sanctified. All right, this is Lady G. And today is Sanctified Sunday. So David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So if you're going into the house of the Lord today, I want you to go sanctified. And if you don't go sanctified, at least come out sanctified. All right. So this is Lady G, and I'm telling you to have a blessed and wonderful day on purpose. Until the next upload, later y'all.